Welcome back to Championship Court as we get set for our men's bronze medal match. That is Spencer Lanier. Looking at him there in the Franklin shirt. His partner is, a, or rather his uh, opponent there, Max Manthal. Little words of encouragement. Everyone friends here. All four of these players, as you see there, Lanier, 20 years old, Newburgh, Oregon. All four of these players, Dom, call the Pacific Northwest their home. They've started training together as of late. So these are going to be four players that know each other very intimately. Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Eric, Lang, Eric Lang's giving us a heads up All here. Right. He said, watch the second point. Didn't the, say why. He just said, watch it. <laughs> looks at me and says that the exact thing. I'm like, all right, E. All right, buddy. Let's see what we got here coming up on the well, second Eric point. Eric Lang has been playing <laughs> with increased confidence as of late. So we will be keeping our eye out on point oh. number two. Now we got and, Jason and, uh, and Bob Jason's, telling us. Jason's coming over saying the same thing. <laughs> uh, something's happening. What's going on here that we don't know about? I like it though, but these guys, all four of them, like you said, Dorian, they are all from the Pacific Northwest. All guys that we see, we get a chance to see on the APP tour. But when you train together, if you're talking about Eric Lang there from Westland, Oregon, 43 years young. Yep. We're going to call it young. 100%. Um, but when you train with players so often, you know their tendencies. Right. So now it's who can flip something new in there? We saw that yesterday in the mixed pro doubles with Dylan Frazier and Millie Rain. It's not just knowing your tendencies. It's then the mental game of who All can right, out maneuver the out other. Wit. Yep, Max Manthau, 32 years old, out of Tacoma, Washington. Former Washington Husky. Lots of purple on the court here this afternoon. Manthau and Lang, bottom of the screen in the purple and white. Lanier and Bach, black and white at the top. Oh, and Early when, speed up from Manthau. Lanier got in the way right there. Bach was on that. So is this the second point this we're will talking be the about? They're all smiling. It, What's going well, on? I think that What's means second on? point's coming. Ooh. Oh, there was, there was. Oh. No, he lobbed the 6'10 guy. And, and Lang they there the with point. the put away. And the fancy footwork from these guys. They said it was the second point. Lang so down, and he didn't even look over for the confirmation. No. Nope. We noticed. We saw Eric Lang. We saw it. Midpoint switch. I like it. But I like the lob there from Mathau up and over the top of Spencer Lanier. That is not easy to do over the big man in a 3-0 lead here for Lang and Mathau. It takes a lot of confidence oh. to lob the 6-4 guy as that one just out of the reach. Oh! <laughs> so Bach and Lang went to tap paddles and Bach got a little aggressive with it, knocked the paddle out of Lang's hand. Things that you can do with all four of you are friends. Yes. Uh, nice speed up right there from Mathau. Got a little love off the tape right there. If you're lying there, you have to have a stronger wrist, though. Like, come on. Nice step in right there from Spencer Lanier, and instead of just resetting that lean in, he pulls the trigger with a little wrist flick to start that little firefight. Good placement there from Manthau. Side out. Three, one, one. Forced error there. Lang and Manthau regained the three point lead. Lang and Mount Manthau fell to Will Howes and Riley DeHart in the second men's semifinal. That one went to three games. 
after Lang and Manthal took game one 11 to four. Cool, big rip from the big fella, but came up short. Yeah, just missing off the tape right there. About a half an inch from being perfect. Great spot there from Eric Lang, a little backhand flick. When you played together as much and trained together as much, we talked about the, the knowing the tendencies and the outmaneuvering. At what point do you try to throw in something new that they haven't seen before? I think it's a feeling out process. It's, can I get away with what I normally do? Will that work? If it's not working now, maybe let's try something new. Right now, Lang and Manthal not doing too much different. Other than a little fancy footwork on the second <laughs> point. Oh, nice Great hands from hands from Lanier. Yeah, Spencer Lanier right there. Beautifully done. Reading the speed up here from Eric Lang. And two guys in Lanier and Lang that play a very similar style of game as well. Yes, they do. Very tall big reach could play powerful but will prefer to play slow first mystery turn makes it five one two it was a really aggressive serve just long and it's it's interesting to me Dominic. You, you look at guys like lang and lanier and andre diascu to some degree as well could play that power game but instead Prefer to the finesse. Why is that? So again, it's being predictable. I'm big. I'm strong. Predicted predictability would be I'm going to play fast, right, and play hard. But again, if you can develop that slow game, they know that pickleball is played and developed through the slow game to the fast game. So they play through their soft hands, through the dink game, to get their speed ups. <laughs> And there was some power right there from Lang on the backhand put away. Yeah, again, it's Lang reaching in and using that backhand flick. 2-5-2. Nice counter there from Mathau. Earns the side out. This has been a good run for Lang and Mathau in their first tournament together. Decided to partner up just three weeks ago. As Dom said earlier, rumor has it that partnership was born in Sacramento Ooh. Oh, just missing. get the whole story straight though. <laughs> well, I was gonna let you fill in the details. It's your story in the bathroom in go. Sacramento <laughs> <is> where <laughs> Lang supposedly proposed and that's how all true romantic partnerships are born that's it. It's been good for them here this weekend Max Manthau trying to make pickleball a more full-time job as the money has started to come into the sport that's been more available to players. I spoke to Eric Lang earlier today. He talked about the influx of money has really changed the dynamic of the sport. It's allowed Lang to go full-time as well. We've seen him do that over the last year. And correspondingly, his game has gotten better right there. Got caught a little bit. Yeah, just missing that backhand counter is Eric Lang as Bach and Lanier Creep back here now within two. Bach, but go that back pretty. Go back to the beginning of that point. The they they look like they're gonna stack do Manthau and Lang, and they don't because Manthau sprints across the court to cover. It's almost faking it. Those hands are so fast. Yeah, Lanier gets jammed up just enough right there, but now on second server. Nice little run here for Bach and Lanier. Able to shave away two points from the lead. Three, 
timeout. Referee timeout. Not sure. It looks like it may be a microphone issue for our referee on court. Take a look at there's the uncoil and again right there you see Lanier gets chicken winged right up around that right armpit and can't keep that ball in play so ball just gets jammed up on his body a little too much is that something that's more difficult for taller players that have that larger wingspan just because they it it requires more to keep it so it's a compact. bigger space because right. they're bigger themselves and so yes again that spot right there is a bigger target on a bigger player Getting big in the middle is Eric Lang on the forehand side. <laughs> Adds the lead as the ball goes in the net. Wow, what footwork from Manthau is. To clear the body, yes, yeah. Yes, exactly. You saw that too right there, Dorian. He clears himself to the sideline to give himself room on the forehand side. Beautifully done by Manthau. Right there, just slides to the sideline, is able to get something on that forehand. If he doesn't slide, that ball eats him up on his body right there on that chicken wing like we talked about. So great job by Manthau as they regain a three-point lead. And to be able to move and to clear while keeping your hand steady because if he moves his hand as he's sliding, it catches an edge guard, it pops it up. So it's not just the footwork, but the body control as well that you have to have on a play like that. Yeah, absolutely. And he does, you know, his feet are so quick, gets that from singles, plays singles really well, moves really well. So again, moving that body, moving his feet, something he is accustomed to, does really well. Before he was at the University of Washington, Max Manthau, a junior champion in the state of Washington, decided to stay in his home area. Continues to live there now. Seven four one. Seven four one. Good spot there from Jason Bach, putting that ball near the feet of Max Manthau. Seven, four, two. Get up, <laughs> Manthau. We've seen Manthau do that a couple of times today. Yeah, using the vertical right there to get up on top of this ball, this last one right there. Time that jump perfectly. Just catches the line for the side out. And ball right at the right shoulder of Eric Lang. Perfect spot from Jason Bach. Lang couldn't get his paddle tight enough to his body to get this. Actually, it almost looked like Eric Lang pulled his paddle down thinking Bach hit it harder. Yep. Which typically Jason Bach will do. Right. He likes to play with some pace. Bach and Manthau, the power players out of this foursome. Just wide on the ATP. Ambitious there from Jason Bach. But again, that goes back to the familiarity. Maybe it was there. Trying to do something different. Yep.
Nice set up there from Manthau as he pulled Bach really wide, but instead of just pulling him wide and watching it, he pulls him wide, steps back to the middle, and then is able to finish. Something I wanted to note before we get any further down as we take another look at this last point. In the middle of that, though, Manthau hit the lob as there's the end of the point. And both Bach and Manthau have done something on lobs as Lanier puts that away. They've stepped back off of the kitchen line before they've gone after it. We've seen players at times today just try to push off from the kitchen line and been called for foot faults. Yes, and players are well aware of if they step in the kitchen and jump back after touching that kitchen line or kitchen, it is a fault. So players becoming more conscious of that. Manthau teeing off there. Yeah, again, nice speed up, though, from Lanier as he starts this little backhand flick. He's not able to get the second one as Lang took control. Lang and Manthau now two points away from taking game one here in our men's doubles bronze medal match. And another timeout taken by Lanier and Bach. What have Lang and Manthau done right, so effectively lying, here in game one to play and really assert their type of pace? Well, there, it was what happened in the semifinal match. When they were being successful, Lang and Manthau, they were dictating when they wanted to, right? And right now, that's exactly what's happening. They're dictating pace of play, speed ups when they want to. When Bach and Lanier get on the offensive, it's their advantage for the most part. But what Lang and Mantha are doing is they're keeping the ball low enough for them not to do that, waiting for their right moment. And so that also then prevents Lanier and Bach from being aggressive and being able to pull the trigger first, because if they do, it's not the right ball. Exactly. Exactly. They're keeping that ball low so they're not able to attack, but then waiting for the right ball that they can attack. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Manthau gets it. Bach was waiting for it. Nice Ernie there from Bach. And not only is it a good Ernie, it's a good angle. Getting it away from the outstretched Eric Lang. To clear that wingspan to say it something. Oh, no. That oh. ball is punished <laughs> off the paddle of Eric Lang. Heads up. There is no apology to the young Spencer Lanier either. <laughs> He's like, Listen, Do you have youngin, to apologize, though, when you train together? To your friends? No, no absolutely. <laughs> You're going to talk about it when you get home. Remember that time I oh, lit you up and I did it twice. There it is. Light <laughs> him up. Uh, oh, oh, he no. puts oh, the oh. hand up late. Get out of here, Eric. And then the smile. We know you're not sorry, Eric. You are not sorry. You are teeing <laughs> off on the big body. That is a great reset from Manthau in the middle of that point. Lanier pulls it wide. It's game point for Lang and Manthau. Overhead, put away through the middle, and game number one goes to the men in purple. They take it 11-5 over the 12 seeds. Jason Bach and Spencer Lanier. Game two in the men's doubles bronze medal match coming up next here at the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. At Typical Insurance, 
You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. Earlier this week, the APP made a very special announcement in the APP Junior Circuit, a collection of three tournaments around the country for players aged 18 and younger. Additionally, all players will be eligible to participate in the APP Junior National Championships held in December at the Fort, the APP's headquarters in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For more information, visit the APP.global. Let's go. I love to see the growth of the sport, getting everyone involved. Next gen junior circuit. And it's growing APP, so fast. APP doing their part to help grow the sport at the youth level. Absolutely love that. And there's a reason they call it the Association of Pickleball Players. It is everyone that plays and loves this sport. Oh, off the tape, oh, 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 oh. man. gets it. Lanier just beside himself, smiling about it. Gives a little here, fake here clap. <laughs> Body language says it all. Yes. That was a fantastic reset by Lanier on the first trigger pull. The, it's ridiculous. The first, the eighth, yeah. the 16th. There were so many good resets throughout that point. But again, finally, Mantau finding the sideline after he pinches Lanier to the middle. Mantau really bursting on the scene last year oh. in Daytona as Lanier Ready puts sure. away the pop-up. There is no one that's surprised by Max Mantau now. Lanier staring down Lane going, yeah, I almost got you too, buddy. <laughs> right there, smiling at him. I don't think you get to say that until you get the body bag. No, 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 not at all. Great read yep. in the middle from Jason Bach as he slid like lightning quick in the middle. A bit of pinch middle, but the point goes to Lang and Manthau. It's crazy. The two biggest guys on the court are playing the right side. So their forehands are on the sideline. Typically, you see opposite. There's a big oh, yeah. forehand. But it's Jason Bach and Max Manthau who play the fastest and with the most aggressive style. So that's why they're both playing the left side. Is a oh, one. that's a beautiful flick in the middle there from Spencer Lanier. Big reach, doesn't do too that's much with it, just finds the right spot. Going for the big drive there and finds the net. Same guy. <laughs> I same guy quite often. Yeah, 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 all time. That's why we're here in the booth. <laughs> Very true. Wow, and again, same guy. Makes up for it right away. Memory of a goldfish. Let it go. Where's the belief sign? Next. You told me you were gonna bring it today. No, I forgot. I'll also take biscuits instead. 
So that's one of the Sales biggest law. things in pickleball, too, is you do have to have the memory of a goldfish because what happens, in all seriousness, is that the next point happens seconds later. So you need to let that go, refocus your mind and your game, and get back in it. Because if you don't, what happens? <laughs> Because if you don't, what happens is that now one bad point turns into two, three, four, snowball, and before you know it, it's four points for your opponent. We talked about it yesterday in the mixed doubles semifinal with Howells and Rain going against Frazier and Black because the games, you only have two minutes to reset there, and the carryover, it's so easy to let it snowball. Spencer Lanier, get your paddle in the right spot and just get it back over. And Lang could do nothing but watch. It's almost deja vu, except Lang in Sacramento, he pulled his really cross court. Lanier just found the hole. Second serve. Second serve coming. These guys just, <laughs> just having fun out there, man. They really are. Ooh, <laughs> Box says, I know. <laughs> I think it's like, that one's well out. Box <laughs> like, I know, I know. Just a bit outside. That is so good. The touch from the big fella landing it right on the back line. You hit it right in the head there, Doran. It's the touch from Lanier right here. You know how easy it is to overhit this ball? He hits it at about 60%, gets some shape on it, back line. Lanier's got to stay on his feet right there. He jumped up and just gets on top of that too much. If he can set his feet and just stay flat with that counter. First score in eight points, 3 2 2. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he took it off the top of the tape right there with the reach. Found the one spot in the court that Max Manthau can't get to. Let's watch this. Great angle here of how far. Look at that reach. He's more than halfway into the kitchen with that reach. Great angle right there. We were able to see that. Great balance, too, to be able to stay behind the line. Right through the middle. Point. Slow roll for the point. Lanier almost apologizing for that one, but I have no idea why. That's a great controlled counter. You could easily overhit that, and he just caught it on the paddle. You never apologize for a winner. No. Mm -mm. Found the middle. Oh, here we go again. Watch this. <laughs> Let me see where Manthout goes here after this return. All the way across. There it is again. What is the purpose of Manthout going all the way across? It's trying to mess with your opponents visually. It's all it is. They see a lot of movement. And the more movement they do, the more you see, the more you're like, okay, where's the hole going to be? But there really isn't one. Don't worry about where your opponent is. Worry about the ball is and where your contact point is. Exactly. Bach all over it in the kitchen line. Nice point there. Jason Bach getting active right there. Is him and Lanier taking control here in game two. I 
off the end of the paddle, side out, but Bach and Lanier go on a three-point run to take a 5-3 lead here in game number two. After Eric Lang and Max Manthau took game one, 11-5. Uh, oh, that is a huge backhand swing there from Jason Bach. Makes it 4-5-1. Service serve. error. Second serve coming. Four, five, two. That's a great drive right there from a short return. That's a great ball to attack because it's through transition. The ball was up enough. You can get over the top of it, get some top spin on it. Can't put away for Manthau as they retake the lead 6-5. Yeah, big finish right there from Lang and Manthau. And you're going to get a timeout here from Lanier and Bach as we are all square here at 5 in game number 2. Lang and Manthau up 6-5. 6-5? Yeah. yeah. I think. Okay, okay, okay. So an even better timeout. Even better. <laughs> You talk about that high sitter in the transition zone and for players that are getting familiarized with the game there are zones in the court red yellow green about balls that you can go for in the area of the court and also where they bounce up in relation to your body there's so much that goes into what ball you should take you should drop and you should attack right um, there's so many factors that come into play it comes into your level of play what can you do with the ball where the ball is, how high the ball's bouncing. If you're going by typical, right? Typical. Anything back at the baseline, very hard for you to drive a ball back at the baseline for anything that, that's low, right? I'm gonna drive something maybe bounces higher or, or higher. If it's lower and it's at the baseline, I'm gonna try and drop that. But anything through that transition area, if it's low, I'm gonna drop it too. But if it bounces up higher, I may attack that. So really more or less it's height of the ball and what you can do with it saw some members of the european atlantic cup team they're sitting in the stand spencer linear part of the u.s contingent they will play mixed doubles tomorrow oh no oh, it falls in and linear can't even believe it Lanier, Lanier puts his hand over his mouth going, did I just keep that in? Yes, yep. I did. I, I'm not even <laughs> sure what his actual intention was with that because <laughs> I don't think it was that. <laughs> but it worked. Yep. Oh, he tries to flick right at the body of Eric Lang, but ball dropped just a little too much. What is it you said earlier? Same guy. Same guy. But that last one, I don't know what that was. Missed third. So a quick side out. Serve goes back over to Lang and Manthau. Just deep right there on the defense from Spencer Lanier. Listen, in the pickleball pro days, we need the wingspan of Lang and Lanier, and we need the vertical. So we take another look. Just, Just missing missed. back there. We need a vertical test, and it looks like we will get a video challenge. Lanier is... Yeah, and Lang's over the top of it. Max did call it out pretty adamantly. I think it was out. Bach it was like shielded. Or not, but excuse me, our referee was kind of shielded by so, Eric Lang's body. It looked like for a second we may have a review, but they will play on at 7 5 1. Friendly. Well, the bounce up, did it so, hit the bottom bar? So it's yep. a replay here. So what happened was ball bounced and then bounced back into the bar. So that is a replay. 7-5-1 so, one for the second time. Oh, oh 
got away with hitting an out ball. Lanier visibly upset playing that last ball would have ended up in the Chase VIP section. <laughs> Souvenir. Directly behind our it's championship court. Look at the stare down from Bach. <laughs> the stare down from Bach and Lanier. Lanier is upset because if you watch his setup on this, he was trying. He was going to try and pancake this speed up. He was sitting on it. New Lang was speeding up, but it clips the tape and just goes up and over. Oh. Great hands from Lang. And he and Manthau have worked themselves a match point up 10-5-1. That's just great read in the middle there from Eric Lang. Spencer Lanier puts it into the net. That will do it. Eric Lang and Max Manthau, who made noise in the men's doubles bracket earlier today by knocking off Andre Diescu and Gabe Tardio, they leave Miami with a bronze medal. Hugs all around. A great showing for those two. Coming up next here on Championship Court, it is our final match of the day. It is women's doubles bronze medal, and it's coming up here at the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open on ESPN.